So do you need to practice to use rods properly? First of all, what is your definition of properly? I think you need to use them in an engaging way and it needs to be clear visually. So if you're working online, it's worth opening a Zoom call with yourself or a similar call, recording yourself using the rods and deciding, do they need to see your face? Do they just need to see the table and the rods laid out? Uh, what position might you put the camera or visualizer in? If you're doing it face to face, if you have a colleague or family member or friend who's prepared to play with you for a little bit and watch you do it, you can have a go and see what they think. If the message you're getting across is the message that they're hearing. So yeah, practice obviously is going to make you more confident and reduce teacher anxiety. But I do think that it is the impromptu nature of rods, their spontaneity, the fact that things go wrong, that the rods might fall over, that you say something a bit differently. I have done the story, um, some of the stories in this webinar many, many times and every single time they're slightly different. Does it matter? No. Hopefully they're still engaging and memorable. So if your school doesn't have a budget um, for this kind of resource, would I recommend rec investing in them? I have to say, uh, absolutely, yes, I would. Um, I would personally recommend investing in a box of rods over and above any number of books or subscriptions or apps that you can buy just because they are such a versatile hardwearing tool. Um, I've been teaching for around 25 years. I got my first set of rods very early on in my teaching career. They looked exactly the same as when I first bought them and that's not for lack of use. They are really, really hard wearing. So if you're gonna get many, many, many lessons, loads of pleasure, loads of learning out of something, I wholly think it's worth the investment. Also, I think that you should ask the people that have the budget to watch these webinars and see what you can really do with them. And if you can accelerate student learning with that small investment, which is much smaller than the cost of many other resources that are available, then hopefully you can maybe convince the people with the money to change their minds.